What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Scott and Michael here and today we're going to show you all the new weapons in the brand new Nuke World DLC trailer. So first up, we got an AK-47 or something that looks very much like it or like the Chinese assault rifle in Fallout 3 but uh, this Raider has it right here and it's sort of like a a blackish version. We actually see multiple versions of this, like different paints and sort of modifications and stuff throughout the trailer. Yeah, and I mean, who doesn't want something like this? Another powerful looking ballistic weapon. It looks like it could be used end game, and I like that. Here, we have a wacky duva thing. I don't know what to call it, but everyone seemed to miss it. You're actually holding this. Like, I don't know if it's just an animation. It's like a little game of whack-a-mole going on. Yeah, that's what it is. And I think that this will actually be a weaker weapon. Yeah, it'll be another one of those sort of gimmicky weapons that you'll probably be able to use them in the little arcade area. Maybe, hopefully you can probably take them outside the arcade. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm actually thinking. I reckon maybe you'll be able to take it out. But I think it'll be weak. Maybe you can upgrade it though. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, make it electrified or put a knife in the top. Why not? But in the same vein, we've got this pipe pistol. It basically is a pipe pistol here, but maybe that's just given to you for this little targeting that's true. game too. Here. I don't think that's a new weapon by any means. Yeah, because some people were talking about it being a new weapon new. with the red crosshair thing in the middle, but that's just from the other things in the background. That's little... not actually part of the gun. Yeah, that was just a little target. But this one is definitely a new weapon. This is like a baseball bat combined with a super sledge jet on it and the fluoro yellow stuff is cool too but uh so i wonder if actually you know what else this could be this might actually not just be an entirely new weapon but extra modifications for the baseball mm. bat i'm sure you could find it this weapon and then realize like krem's tooth that it's just a modification that comes on a unique maybe we'll be able to get the rockville slugger and then like Put add jets this jet on it. to it yeah or maybe, the maybe we'll be able to take the bottom off and fill it up with nuka cola oh yeah maybe it's plastic and here we have some interesting sort of crazy gun but it looks like a modified sort of like nine millimeter pistol or beretta sort of looking thing and it's just been attached with this glass jar of fluid and wires and stuff everywhere. Look, so. whatever the hell it is, it's wacky ass. But like you said, that may just be a modification that you can take off and we'll actually have in the final DLC something like the 9mm pistol. I would really like that to be brought back. Yeah, just some real smooth looking handgun, a tight one, not like the big chunky 10mm. Yeah, yeah. And I do want to put it out there as well. Whatever that is on the right side of the gun just looks weird as shit to me. Like, I find it very hard to make out exactly what this gun is. Yeah, I, whether it's going to be, like, some glass of, like, fluidy stuff that goes into it or, or... Yeah. Or, I don't know what it is, but if you look closely, it is transparent. You can see the bit of the um, wooden plank there go through the glass. So, you can actually see behind it. So, it is some sort of glass thing. And then there's also this little squishy looking th contraption on the left side of it. I don't know what the hell that's for. Like, I maybe this could be electrified or there's maybe some kind of... Um, Bop it. <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. But anyway, we can't really say much about it because it's just fucking crazy. It's just cool and I want it. Here we have the assault rifle again. This time we have a scope and I like how the back end of it's like a shovel handle looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, extra stability. And it's the silvery color. So we've got different stock. It's got a silvery sort of color. And like you said, the scope. Maybe even that magazine looks a bit shorter, but it seems like this weapon will be customized a lot and there'll be lots of different variants and modifications. Yeah, definitely. For it. And... Now we've got the one everyone loves and is so excited about the it. The gimmick weapon. It's a electrified paddle ball. It even has a range of 11, Ooh. somehow. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, not my favorite weapon. I'm not a fan of really, like... Gimmicky stuff. Sh shitty weapons. Like, look, if you actually <laughs> look at it, like, look at its damage. It's one and then 10 energy damage. Yeah, yeah. Like I actually don't mind gimmicky weapons when they make them powerful. Because it's sort of like you can laugh at it, but also use it and have yeah. fun with it. It's like, you know, the holy frag grenade could be viewed as like a gimmicky weapon, but it's like, it's fucking cool because it's really strong. And then in the other scene, we see the guy with a suit and he's also holding the similar Chinese assault rifle with a scope or whatever we're going to call that. And then finally, we see that assault rifle again, but colored. And yeah, this is some CSGO skin looking shit. Like you could flip that on eBay for some good cash. 
Maybe they've added this gun customization to actually a lot of stuff. Like, imagine if they did that as part of Nuke World. It's like, oh, you can now customize the paints of all your guns. So you could even take the 10 millimeter pistol and cover it in this sort of That'd paint. That'd be cool. Because like, yeah. it, it makes sense too. Like, you know, the place with the painted ghouls? Yeah. And like that area, that could be like a whole area where there's like all, the, all this paint for whatever reason. So the raiders dress themselves up in this sort of colored paint stuff and then color their weapons. And it's like, you can now tank and color your... Um, weapons as well from whatever so you could take you know the deliver and make it green <laughs> or make it rainbow i think they just saw a whole bunch of suicide squad ads and they were like yeah fallout needs some of this so they just threw it all over it some fresh color some saturation yeah such is always good here we have some aliens but like they're just sort of like fake aliens with these blasters which are probably just attached to their body and you can't take it because it would just devalue the alien blaster but maybe Maybe you can take it. We're just going to say it because it is there and maybe you can get some ammo. And here we have a big fucking knife. <laughs> it's yeah, like mate. Maybe that's a modified machete or just a completely new weapon, but it is a big serrated, spiky looking, cool Blade Masters machete. You know, those guys that collect swords and so on, like with the little like... I don't know if they're even useful, but the little holes and it shit It makes them less them. weight, so you can swing it faster. Oh, yeah. You get a nice shing sound as you slice this grasshopper in half. But yeah, that's cool. I like how they've just added some more um, melee weapons. Like a nice knife. That's it. Even though it's like a most basic and sort of like soul thing. Oh yeah, a new knife. But I can really appreciate that. I like a variety of like bladed weapons. Yeah, and yeah. It's got a nice sharp edge to the top too. It's like a really like angular sort of knife. Yeah, and that reminds me as well with that pistol before... Uh, they added a pistol. We didn't have a pistol in the other DLC. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, finally, give a, gave, given us a pistol. So, yeah. that's awesome news. Yeah, that's that's completely true. We haven't had, actually, any pistols. But, yeah, I hope... Actually, that's one big hope I do have for Nuka World is they do add a whole bunch of new weapons. Like, sort of one of each type. Like, because one thing I'm actually a little tiniest bit scared about at the moment is if you actually look at uh, Far Harbor, there was basically no energy weapons at all, I think, added. This one also, at the moment... I haven't seen any new energy weapons or unless that like pistol's that. an energy weapon because it is covered in shit. But yeah. it's like it's not. I know what you mean. It doesn't shoot laser. Yeah. So hopefully there is some uh, energy weapons in there. Mm. But uh, that's all speculation for now. But besides that, that's all, guys. Remember to subscribe for more Nuka World. We'll have heaps of Nuka World content, and uh, we'll see you all very soon.